I think for him, uh, this does signify a, a victory over Caesar and the threat, the, 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 the terror of uh, death, the terror of the lions. It's great the way that F.W. Borum made a practice of coming to the art gallery. So why do you think Borum was so fascinated with this painting? Well, this, this was actually his favourite one, and uh, it certainly got a theme of faith in the title, The Victory of Faith by St George Hare. Uh, one of the things that he really liked was the whole notion of sleep, and he wrote a few essays on sleep and the philosophy of sleep. So here you've got two women, arm in arm, uh, on the night before, they're going to be fed to the lions. And we've got the lions uh, through, peering through the back. This seems to be an antechamber for the arena, for Caesar's arena. And I think for him, uh, this does signify a, a victory over Caesar and the threat, the, 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 the terror of uh, death, the terror of the lions. Uh, there's certainly a victory over, over death. I think also the artist has captured a victory over racial prejudice. Here you have got two women, one with brown skin, one with white skin, uh, arm and arm. The other thing is that they have been stripped naked and I think there is a sense in which it shows they are absolutely poor and yet in so many other ways they are unbelievably rich. But I think Borum was fascinated by this one because he felt that it was an incredible symbol of what it means to believe uh, in the face of such, uh, such great odds. What about you, Andrew? Well, it's interesting that St George Hare painted lots of Victorian erotica and put the religious symbolism into it, and Borum was actually castigated in some quarters for being a little bit naive about that. Mm. But I think he's actually interpreted this in, in a way that he took a lot of other cultural landmarks like for example tall buildings, cathedrals, mountains and he, he said they point to God and so he's actually seen a very positive message in this and I agree that he's seen like he talks about the, the clothes coming off as, as, a, as actually a part of their freedom and, and uh, the, the, the fact that they could sleep and of course we know that for him sleep was something that he struggled with all his life and so mm. here are these people facing certain death a cruel death about to be thrown to the lines the next day and there they are asleep mm. in utter peace mm. the victory of faith he was obviously enchanted by this yes. and it, th there are lots of things that the artist has captured whether he realized he was capturing them or not it's something that Borum has um, you know he had this <coughs> saying that some people see with their eye yeah. Some people see through their eye. And mm. Borm's obviously seen through whatever the artist was looking at and has given us a really positive interpretation of this painting. Yes. It's great the way that F.W. Borum made a practice of coming to the art gallery, not this one here, the National Gallery of Victoria, but to the old Melbourne Art Gallery. Mm. And he was really intentional about viewing painting. Mm. For him, it was sometimes an escape, an escape from the harsh realities. Mm. And other times, it was a place of real nourishment. And so he would often come on a Friday, and he would come and just view one painting and sit down and have a look at it. And it, and it nourished him, and mm. it really inspired so many of his essays. I think mm. probably more than 20 or 25 of his e essays actually begin uh, or, or are, mm. are a complete study. Mm. of a painting like this, from which he used as a base and he leapt off onto his particular theme.